Stop wasting time by scratching your head and start improving your knowledge with us. We will help you do just that. In order to help you grow your skills, we are going to provide assistance. Get your 14-day free trial of OConnect. Simply register at www.coolzone.ai. on ONET and construct a playlist tailored to your preferences. You can join millions of others from around the globe in this safe secure social media platform, free, simply by registering at www.coolzone.ai. Hey, hey, Magic Unicorn of Bump Thanks everybody for coming. Me... Marty, Chris, we really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, make a nice comment, we'll post it so everyone can see it. Yeah, have a blessed day. That freaking idiot. Uh, anyway, thank you everybody for being here. As you know, we've had a few meetings off and on since last Sunday. And it bled over into Saturday. And how can I do it without the guys that caused all the problems? So Mike's here with us today. Collins, Oliver, Chris is always here. But no, um, we want to talk about some stuff that we've been actually uh, skimming across the top one for the last few days. One is we're in good hands, okay? We are fine, as Mr. Oliver would say. And this comes in. It's one of the most perfect statements you can even think of. Uh, I uh, I want everybody to take the time and look at where we've been and where we are. I reposted a, a, a video called The Journey that Ash talked about almost three years ago. This September will be three years ago of how the journey of Unpassive has gone up to that point. And from that point to now, it's light years. We're light years even ahead of that. And we'll all get to take part in that. Now, the company that I came into, and Mike, and a lot of these people, well, mainly me and Mike, because we were here a long time. I think maybe Oliver and Collins, I'm not sure. But when we first got it, it was called GoFounder, and we didn't even have an o, um, we didn't have OES platform. We didn't even have a founder platform. In fact, we were just able to pay to be a, a founder. That's how early it was end of February, beginning of, of March. And I was looking for a company that could help everybody and do everything for people and all that. And I thought that's a joke. Mike Ellis was looking for the same thing. We didn't know each other and we're all doing the same thing. We're saying it's gotta be a better way. It's gotta be a better way. We've tried everything. Like, you know, I teamed up with Mike and we even, knock down some goals that, that some people don't reach. And it's because I had the time, I wasn't working, and we learned how to market. But what happened then was, and, and Ash says this in the journey, is you start to realize, even with the skills, you start to get the skills, you're one out of a one out of a hundred in a, in a group that has the skills. So what happens? Oh, you could duplicate what I'm doing. No, you can't. Just like I couldn't duplicate the guy that invited me into his business. Just like the person invited him in. It, it's not it's not duplicatable. They say it is, but it's not. Now, you can copy somebody the best you can, but the problem is the companies are rigged against you. You're not going to be, like, for example, no matter how good I do, has nothing to do with Collins. However good Collins is has nothing to do with me. We're all in one company and I'm passive. We're all going to do well. Some of us might run. Some of us might crawl. Some of us might soar. That's up to you. That's an individual thing. But the beauty of Unpassive, which I hated before I got here over five years ago, was you work your, you work your, like a mule, and nobody's really your buddy. Nobody's really your friend because you're in competition with everyone around you, even, even in the business the business you're in, you're competing with them. You want to move up to the top. Don't kid yourself. Everybody wants to walk across the stage. Everybody wants that big check. I hated it. 
I hated the concept. I hated this guy's at this level. I don't like levels. I don't like talking about levels. I want an even playing field. I get the same pitch as everybody else. I got the same size baseball bat. I get the same speed. Everything's the same. I got the same equipment. That gives everybody an even playing field. In, in MLM and email marketing, email marketing, you can make a lot of money. I know people that have. I'm not a writer. So no matter what my knowledge is about something, or even if I know market, if you can't write in email marketing, you've got a bunch of Dan Streets out there who are very meticulous. And I'm not putting Dan down. Robin Noble's the same way. Michael Williams the same. You don't have a dot right, a T right, or exclamation point. They stop reading it. This is no joke. Now that's email marketing. Now I might be have the most knowledge in the world, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I don't know how to write. Same thing. Everything in in life, you have good. You have qualities and things you don't know. Now, fortunately enough, during this little process of mine, in 15, 20 years now, I met up with Dan. Dan's a writing maniac. He can write anything. He can write how I feel. He can write what Mike says. But he can do it even better than we say it, which is fantastic. Mike can do a video in seven, eight minutes. I've never done a video in seven, eight minutes in my entire life. It takes me seven, eight minutes to get started, okay? So there's no way I can do it. Now, can I do other things that maybe they're not as good at? Yes. But that's how we teamed up and did it. Um, passive takes care of all that. That's what I want people to know. You will be a professional marketer. Why? Because I'm passive does it for you. You will be a professional uh, coder. Why? I'm passive does it for you. You will be able to make beautiful websites. Why? Drag and drop, copy and drop, drag and drop. Put this here, paste this here, boom. Why? Because most of the content, all of the illustration is done by on passive. Everything. Or you could sit back and say, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I'm in. I want to win. It'll happen. You could also take what you do know and put it into the back office in um, in the market. And, and where are you going? Oh, okay. Anyway, so you could do, I see her sneaking out. I'm going, what the freak? Did I miss something? Uh, but anyway, the point is, focus on what you're good at. Because you're good at something that we're not. Don't chase Collins. Don't chase me, Mike, or somebody. Oh, them and that. I didn't even like leadership council. I don't like it. I didn't like the name. I don't like somebody here, whatever. Everybody's got a different skill. And the biggest leaders in the world are people that give the most. Servants are the best leaders. They're the ones that go down in history. You never forget about them. You don't remember how much money somebody had. They don't care. The money's coming anyway. We know that. We talked about it last night. I don't usually talk about numbers. I want to see results. And I believe with them passive, the results are a given. They're going to happen. What you got to, what we need to focus on and what we can change. We have no control when ass pushes that button. None. The sad thing is, neither does Ash. He has some control, but a lot of the stuff going on in Unpassive is outside of Unpassive. Nobody's in a big hurry to launch Unpassive more than Mr. Mufara. But the outside source, maybe the merchants that were holding the money, oh, we got to get them their money real quick so they can launch. They can give a rat's behind what happens. They're going to hold it as long as they can. They're going to give it back. They probably gave it back. I believe they did. Uh, he tried to do something good. Do you think he learned? Yeah. Why? Go to country and say, look, I want to give people this much money. Well, why would you want to do that? I want to build a company that's fair for everybody. Yeah, but that's not the way we play. I don't want to play your game. See, all the things he's doing is going against the tide. So he's got to fight an up uphill battle. He told me, how many times do you think I walk in a room with lawyers or government people and they all go, oh, that's a great idea, Mr. McFarland. I can't wait for you to do it. None. None. But those are things we don't have to do. Focus on what we have control over. 
and Mike talked about time. You, you know, I, I see people, oh my God, oh my God, when's it gonna launch, when's it gonna launch? You know how slow time goes when that happens? I mean, my years from 15 to 17 when I got my driver's license were the two longest years of my life. Oh my God, when am I gonna, I got 24 months, I got 23 months, I got 20. You know how fast two years goes now? Boom, I think it just happened, right? Two years ago was is a second. So think about time, think about what we can do. And here's the thing I wanna really put an emphasis on. Everybody's waiting for something. Look at the benefit we have. We're waiting for a life-changing event. 99.9% .9 of the people are waiting to die. That's it. They get off on Friday. They think about, oh, Saturday, they're, they're living large. By Sunday afternoon, they're already thinking, oh, I got to go to work Monday. And this goes on over and over and over. And then the lucky thing is we get to retire at 65. And because we beat ourselves down probably in a business that we didn't like anyway, living paycheck to paycheck. Now you say, oh, I'm retired. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to get a part-time job at Walmart so I can give out happy faces. Why? God, I can't afford to retire. What kind of crap is that? At least with on passive, what we're waiting for is a life-changing event. And we're part of it. So I tell you what, that makes me happy every day. Because it's coming. What we're looking for, it's there. We we see the foundation. You just gotta open that door and go. And that can happen any day. But the main thing is focus on you because I the worst thing I want to hear, I got X amount of dollars in my wallet. I don't know how to get it. And you know that's going to happen. Why? Because they focused on I want it, I want it, I want it. Now they got it and they don't know how to get it. That's why you need to know your business. This comes from Oliver every day, Collins, Mike, Chris, myself. Learn what you need to know. And say, so I didn't have to know anything. Don't be stupid. Don't go that far. I could just lay on my back and close my eyes and the company will do it. No. It's already already ridiculous what they're doing for us. What you need to do is get tied in, find out what's going on. Don't worry about things you have no control over because thank God you're not in control of it. Thank God I'm not in control of when we launch, don't launch, what I settle for and what I don't. As has never lost focus. Does he hear this? Oh my God, my great uncle died. Oh, I lost my job. I can't do this. And, and Unpassive still hasn't launched. That is not Unpassive's fault. If I run out of money, I have something happen. Somebody passed away. I got sick. My grandkids get sick. That has nothing to do with Unpassive. Zero. But I'll tell you this we have hope of when one day it's coming, we're going to be part of something that. I believe is the biggest thing that ever happened on this planet, other than, for my belief, Jesus Christ was crucified, okay? I believe nothing will be bigger. This is bigger than the industrial age, the first one. This will be the new one. And you're going to be able to look back and say, oh, my God, look what I was part of. And that little bit of time we're waiting, you're going to think it's a joke. These two gentlemen here, Collins and Oliver, IT experts were in the business for years. They both thought, knowing what they heard about on path, and they didn't know everything in the beginning, this is going to take 10 years. Call me when it's done. They're, they're doing so much. In fact, I believe Colin said to me, I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're going to be accomplished, but if they do 10% of what they say, this will be the biggest IT company in the world. And guess what? Since he said that, the company has improved 100%. So even if it's 10%, it's 100% of what he thought the day he came in. So that's where we're at, everybody. That's where we're at. You heard in uh, Go Africa, the gentleman from Egypt, he praised Africa, and you could hear it was with pride. I am an African. He said Africa is fertile ground. Why? I would rather deal with people that are not marketers, right? I want to deal with people that are fresh. The average age in Africa is ridiculously like 19 or 20. I couldn't believe it. A lot of young people in Africa, right? 
a lot of educated people with nothing to do with it. AI is coming. That's a good place to start. But the whole world is going to blow up with AI. We can deal with it or we can be spectators. We're part of it. So remember that we're all part of AI from the very, very beginning. If you listen to that journey tape that I did almost three years ago, he started to realize, he said in the middle, at the, in, in the summer of 2019, he realized what he was looking for. They did not have the technology to do it yet. I think some people here heard it last night. And look where we are now. Everything expanded, blew up. Look at O-Connect. Look at O-Connect when we started in September 1st and look at O-Connect today. I'm so glad we have it now. So anyway, keep in mind, we're in phenomenal situation. I mean, what we're waiting for is life-changing for your children, your grandchildren, everybody you know in your family. What other people are waiting for is pretty sad in most cases. So anyway, I'm going to turn it over to whoever wants it. Colin. Yes, Maddie. <laughs> that was really great. Yes, just want to thank you again for inviting us here. You and Chris, you are amazing. You know, you gave us the opportunity on Saturday to just come and chat. We found us an affiliate. And those who will be watching later on, you know, on Passive, I always said on Passive is, is an AI software development company. I don't like to call it IT because IT means we are doing a disfavor. IT can mean anything. But when you call it a global AI software development company, you complete everything. Because those who understand will know that this is not a joke. It means it takes time to build a solution. It means you're building it from scratch, from nothing, from the world. When Maddie said, I want I want Mike, <laughs> Mike Ellis to fly, they will find a way for Mike Ellis to fly. Anything you say can be done in IT. But again, will it generate revenue? That's what they always think. If you cannot generate revenue, they will not do it. Everything is possible in IT, but if it cannot generate revenue, nobody will waste their time to do it. But we are, like Buddy said, we are in a better place. But then yesterday we were discussing something and I slept again because I talk about Catmo. I slept again and I said, no, let me look at it in really in a critical way. And most of the founders, they love Catmo. If they say Catmo, oh, everybody's, you know, jumping, celebrating. Do we really understand Catmo? That, 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 that is my problem now. Do we really understand why I should make that abbreviation Catmo? Because Catmo is complete automated traffic and money. A lot of founders love T and MO. That's traffic and money. But they don't understand the CA. You know, the CA is complete automa automation. You know, all of them complement each other. There is, if if there, is, there is no A, C, A, there will never be T. You know, Mike Ellis is saying, a marketer. My, my Madi is here. They are great marketers. Thank God I'm saying this. They are here. You cannot drive traffic to something that doesn't exist. You know, for instance, let's look at this scenario. Madi Degamo has the grandchildren in the house. Call the son and say, go to that shop. I want you to go and get toothpaste for me. And Mali Gamo called the shop name. The son goes there, come back, and said, Daddy, I went there, there was nothing. I went there, there was just cement, there was building materials and stuff like that. You sent me to the wrong place. Mali said, Oh my God. The son will be so upset because one, you waste your time and effort. Maybe the gas you put in your car to drive there and come back, and there was nothing. So now that will be loss of confidence for Madi Digamo as a grandfather that you send me to the wrong place, daddy, I'm not going anymore because what you're saying doesn't make sense. You asked me for toothpaste, I went there and it was nothing. The child now what is a traffic, it's a customer. You send the child to a wrong place. So Madi cannot send someone to a place that what they are looking for doesn't exist. So if there is no CA, T cannot come. So Ma when we're talking, we're talking about targeted traffic. It means you cannot send targeted traffic to a place where there's nothing exists. So I always love the CA because the CA is complete automate, automate, automated, automation. Means they have built the ecosystem complete, automated, and then they say, now let us start look for customers. And Mr. Ashmofara is genuine when it comes to customers. 
they can start look and say, all right, this is what we got because they can see everything, do the analysis and say, yeah, this is it. We can send customers. And before the M will come, MO will come, that T must be converted. T cannot work if it is not converted. You can send millions of customers. If they are not converted, they don't buy anything, no money will come. It means the customers you are sending must be the customers that will look at it and say, yes, we want it. Yes, even if we don't buy it today, we don't because we don't have money today, but we are happy to buy it tomorrow or the next day or the next day or month. It means these customers must be converted to something which is money. It means money is the last effect of anything we are thinking about. And that is where we stand because Mr. Ash Mufara is a genius like, something that is really he knows what he is doing he knows if i build this and i give so much value the t will come and that t will be converted to mo that's where we stand so most of the founders need to know where they stand and start to you know keep that anxiety down and said we want to perfect our ca so that the t will come and that t will be converted to mo that is the cut ball we are talking about something must happen for t to come and that t must be converted before mo will come and all of them they work simultaneously they are in intertwined where you cannot separate them you know you cannot build a nice house you put it under your bed nobody will see it you must put it and then advertise it you know do everything for things to start to flow but now is the time where we need to learn and understand our business like those who are coming the father's coming. If you are in an IT company, say the, the IT company, the, where somebody will say, oh, what are you selling? This goes not only for the founders, the affiliate. If they open an IT company, software development company, because it is rare for a software development company to open their door and say, we want affiliate, because they will never do it. This Ash Mufara is exception. All those other companies, like Mardi will say, they did by mistake. It happens for them to have millionaires and 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 billionaires. It was just error. It was not designed for this to happen. But on passing was designed for this to happen. IT company hardly opened their door to say we want affiliate because the person will say, I know if I build this solution, they will come whether they like it or not. TikTok is there. We can there's an example. They build all of this. We are running. YouTube, we are jumping on YouTube. How much are they making? They never brought any affiliate because they, they know we are in a digital age. Whatever you throw out there, people will go for it. As long as it's good. They don't care if it's Mr. Ash Mofara. They don't care if it's this. They don't even know. I don't even know the owner of TikTok. Ask me the name. But why you say yes? I don't even know those who develop uh, um, the, uh, YouTube. I know it was only bought by 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 google but do i know the person who develop it no am i using it yes because i know it is good that is what will happen on passive lot of people will use the product not the owner because the product is good is providing so much value and if an it company open the door and said we want you to come in to get something if you sit behind the company like this happened in a decade Maybe you will see an IT company, software development company coming up, open their door in a minimal price for you to come and make something out of it. It doesn't happen. All of those companies, they know what they are doing. That's why they open and they open and open and say, come, because they don't have viable products. But we are in a digital world age where every IT company, the tiniest, tiniest, makes so much money. And if they open their door and said, look, we want you, and you hesitate, then you are really in the wrong side of the history. When you jump it, they will shut the door because on passive will never last like this, like affiliate. Let me tell you, one day it will come to a point where Mr. said, it is too much. We have to shut this. We know the rest will come in, whether they like it or not, they are customers. The whole world is almost 6 billion. You know, most of them, they are younger age. What would they do? They, they are interested in technology. They would dive into unpassive and they will foot the bill because technology is here to last. We are in that era where if you are not in, then you are all you are already in the wrong, wrong, wrong side of the history. So 
Let us make use of unpassive because it is here to bless us. Because when they get the door shut, you know, even the affiliate position, you will just be a normal user. So that's why I want to throw out there, Madi Digamo. I hope I inspire someone out there to take a look, second look into unpassive. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, where are we going now? We're going to Mike Ellis. <laughs> yeah, th thanks, Marty. Yeah. Uh, everything that Collins and Marty has said, it, it, it's absolutely spot on. I, uh, <clears throat> today, earlier today, this morning, I, I watched the video that uh, Chris and, and Marty put up on their channel, and it was the journey of Unpassive, and it was Ash Mufar talking about the first couple of years within Unpassive. And it was really, really good because you you forget what happened early on in on passive because things are moving so quickly. But as I as I listened to Ash talk, I I thought, okay, what was the impetus for people to come into on passive? <clears throat> and as I thought about it, it, it really hasn't changed from from 2018 to, to 2024 today. Really hasn't changed that much. And it, it really was the trajectory, the financial trajectory that people can, that, that in passive can put people on to get to the place where they're actually developing an income online. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And, and what I thought about, you know, I, I love the figures. I, I, love the, I love to talk about the numbers and, and where we were in 2018, where we are today and how they've changed. And they've changed dr dramatically. When, when Ash talked about on passive in 2018, he was thinking very, very small. And small in, in Ash Mufar's terms was two, three, four hundred million dollar business. And today it's, it, it's so much bigger that, than that. It's unbelievable. But as I think about the people that came into on passive, they really came in not because of the money but because of what Unpassive is doing for them. And it really does put them on that trajectory to have financial freedom. And, and, and here's how it works. We know that most people online, they don't have the ability, the skill sets to come in and, and, and make a living online, to develop an income online. They just can't do it. And it's not because they're not smart enough or they, they just, they don't have the skill sets. They don't have the inclination to learn the skill sets. And when on passive came along, and, and this will help you as we move forward in 2024, because you're going to understand what's coming. Uh, they, they saw on passive, they saw a way forward to actually start taking care of that financial bottom line and their fin financial woes. And they did that because of the concepts within on passive. And the concepts are real, real simple. I won't go over them right now. I want to jump to, to 2024, where we are today. You know, today we, we talk to people that are in on passive today. Most of them are affiliates within on passive. And that's a really, really good thing because there are individuals out there right now that although they're they're excited on, about on passive and, and Oliver and Collins, I, we talked about this earlier, they don't really quite understand what on passive is going to be doing with them. And it's all about the concepts of on passive and those concepts moving forward are going to be the same as they were in 2018. And when we think about individuals, because in a very, very short period of time, Mr. Mufara, we, we are very, very close to, to launching Oconnect worldwide. And then when that happens, four more products come out. That's what's going to happen. It's going to happen very, very quickly. And I, I mean, if you've listened to us in the last couple of days, you probably listened to the numbers and you know what's going to happen with Unon Passive. It's a really, really big thing. But as people come in and look at on passive, and these are the new people that we're going to be talking to, whether whether it's you uh, expressing a testimonial or people asking you about on passive, they're coming in to change their lives because they've been in this rat race for so long. There's no way forward for them. And as we look at as as, as on passive launches O Connect. Individuals are going to be coming in for the same reason, same reason Marty, Dan, and I came in. Number one, we came in initially for the money. In other words, can we actually develop an income online? But when you get past that, you get to the point where, okay, 
I'm going to do very, very well. But the people I've talked to as they come in and ask me about on passive, can they do the same thing? And the answer to that is yes, absolutely. And then we start to talk about the products of Unpassive because Unpassive primarily is going to be a customer-based business. Yeah, there are going to be a lot of affiliates on Passive that are going to be doing very, very well. But Unpassive is a customer-based business. And then we start to talk about the products of Unpassive, superior, above market value at a, at a lower price. We all know that. We all know that's coming. And because that's coming, people are going to flaunt into Unpassive. And then you start to think about the, those are the individuals coming into Unpassive. Why are the businesses coming into Unpassive? Again, this is going to help you going forward, understanding what's going to happen with your business. Okay. It's, it, it's, and this is going to happen very, very quickly. <clears throat> every company out there, every company in the world today is looking for a way to do a digital transformation. In other words, take their their business to the 21st century, being able to market online, doesn't matter if they're brick and mortar store, whatever they're selling offline in their brick and mortar store, you need to be online. And in order to do that, you have to do a digital transformation. Well, on passive, again, superior to tools, lower price point, all these tools are on one platform. So people don't have to go to five or six or seven or, or eight different outlets to bring in the tools they need to do to do that digital platform and come into the 21st century and be able to market online. Unpassive does all of that on their OES platform, the, the Unpassive ecosystem platform. <clears throat> never been done before, probably will never be done, do, done again because it is a really, really di difficult thing to do. Uh, I used the figure last night uh, in 2022, 2022 $1.85 trillion was spent by companies to bring their, their company into that digital transformation and being able to do business online. And of, of that $1.87 trillion, they wasted probably 80% of that. They just could not do it. It's a really, really hard thing to do. This is what OnPassive does. This is what we do. We bring solutions to the table, digital transformation, very, 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 very hard nut to crack. It's a difficult problem to, to solve. On passive brings that solution to the table. People can come in and, and they're, I forget the number I used last night. They're like 334 million businesses in the world. All of these businesses are going to be coming into on passive because they can't, they can't break that nut. They can't, they can't take care of that digital transformation. And Mr. Mufara, and this is the genius behind on passive and our market. He has found a solution for all the businesses in the world to come in and do that digital transformation. And I can tell you guys flat out, we talk about AI a little bit. If you don't, if you don't crack that nut, if you don't come in and do a digital transformation for your company, if you don't put AI to work for you, artificial intelligence, with all the products of Unpassive, integrating everything, everything working together, you will go out of business eventually. You really will. And you might struggle for five or 10 or 15 years, but you're going to get to the point where you can't get enough eyes in front of your product because the competition is using AI. It is using IT products. It is using that digital transformation. And they're getting all the eyes in front of their, their, their customers. So when we start to think about on passive, this is what's coming. This is what's right in front of you. And the really, really cool thing, and, and we've all talked about this, Collins just talked about it, it's the C in Catmo. It is an automated system. You come in, you put on passive to work for you, your business is automated, and the sales will come into your organization. And as sales hit your organization, you make a commission. On passive is doing all of this. Now, there's a lot more that you can do if you want to, as Marty says, as Collins says, as Oliver says, and as Chris says. There are things you can do to, to, to cut time frames, get to that place where you're making the money you want to make quicker. I believe because of what Mr. Mufara has done, because of the vision of Mr. Mufara, because of this marvelous business that he's put together for us, you will get there whether you want to or not. You're just going to get there. That's the way. It, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's bread in the bone. It's built in the bread. It's just going to happen for you. But when you start to understand what on passive is doing, where we are, the trajectory that they put us on, which is a trajectory trajectory of financial independence and financial freedom. That's how I look at it on passive. 
Uh, we change lives. We bring solutions to the table and we solve problems. When you can do that and do that consistently, which is what Mr. Mufar does with his tech team and with the corporate side of Unpassive, you are in such a unique position that, as Colin said, you're not going to find this again, guys. You will not find this again. I've been in business my whole life. And as Chris will tell you, it's about 120 years. So I've never seen this before. And, and if it took me that long to find Unpassive, I can tell you, you're probably not going to see this again in your lifetime. So grab hold, hang on. These things are happening very, very quickly right now. And as Marty said, I think the money has been released. I think on passive is ready to move forward very, very quickly. I don't think it's going to take five months. The five months I talked about, I don't think it's going to take that long. If it takes another extension, fine. Is it going to take longer than that? I don't think so. I really don't. But whatever happens, we're in a unique position. And when on and, and when Mr. Bafar does does hit that switch and releases everything, it's just going to be a fun time for everybody. And I mean everybody that's in on passive today. You're either an affiliate or a customer. You're going to love everything about it because it is going to change the way you look at business, your life, and everything that goes forward from there. That's it. For, that's it for me right now. I, I thought Ash Bufar the uh, the the uh, the video he did uh, it was just spectacular. I had I had forgot a lot about what uh, what happened early on in on passive. I'm glad I'm look I looked at it because it puts everything in perspective, uh, and we're we're right where we want to be. So. I'll turn it over to Oliver. I won't even go to uh, to Marty. We'll just turn it over to Oliver. I know that's where he was going to go. And uh, give us give us a little wisdom, Oliver. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank Collins and uh, Marty. Uh, I know Chris will be coming after me. Um, I just want to say thank you for inviting me on your show. And uh, in fact, I'm, I'm so fired up and so I'm excited and happy where we are today and where the company is going. And um, I know that I will no longer have the nine to five anymore. I will be somewhere doing my humanitarian work and um, life will be good. So when I look into Unpassive today, from when I started 2020, when my brother Bob Takusi brought me in 2020, you know, uh, this month is going to be my, my, my anniversary. So, <laughs> so when I look at it, when Bob called me and told me, Oliver, there's a business. I just asked Bob two questions. I cannot sell. I don't know how to sell. I'm a five to nine. You know, Bob said, you will not do anything. The company will do everything. And then the second thing that make me to join, I'm an IT person that is an IT technology company. Bam, that seals it. I didn't even blink. I, I, I bought an account, study it. When I got in, I told Bob it would take eight to 10 years. I told Bob it would take eight to 10 years, but I don't care. I'll be there. I, I went and calculated my retirement, my age at that time. And when I'm going to go on retirement, I said, if it took 10, 10 years, then I will, I will retire early. You know, then when I when Ash, when I heard Ash the first time, Ash talk, I listened to Mike Ellis um, a, a video. I was like, wow. So, you know, but today I'm bringing this story. I'm, I'm going to land somewhere. Today, Mr. Ash, it's going to take less than seven years with all the moving parts, with all the moving parts and everything in on passive is a process. If you understand what is a process is you have to start from the initialization to the finishing product. And when it goes to the market and the maintenance and the monitoring in everything in on passive, and they've gone through all that process and they are still going through to finalize everything. And in less than seven years, we have O-Connect. And we are using O-Connect. I'm happy. When you look at O-Connect and when I compare, I have meetings. My life is all meetings in the office. I've used almost all the products, all the video conferences products out there. My life is all meetings. Meetings. O-Connect is the bomb. I do not see any product that is going to challenge O-Connect. None. 
Look at the futures, disruptive futures. You know, come, come again. Nobody comes into unpassive without passing through you and I, the affiliate founders. Nobody, never heard of. Look at all the other co companies. Look at all the other companies. Everything comes to them. But Mr. Ash Bufara, our CEO, he has replicated himself to the 1.4 million 200 founders affiliate. He has replicated himself. You own an online shop. And the world today is going online. It's a digital world. The world today is a digital world. That all the cost out of the 5.5 5 plus billion customers that are, that are all over the world, they will, they will land under one of us. And as a subscription-based business, you make your commission. Where have you seen that? Where have you seen that? So please, my plea is this. Stop complaining about the 10 days. Use the 10 days to know your business. Use the 10 days to understand how you are going to manage your business. For the money, it's a done deal. Being in the industry, know how the product, the applications, how much they cost. The, the way I've seen Mr. Ash has started with O-Connect. When I heard him said one day in the, in, in the webinar that, that what, we, what we have now for O-Connect, which is 10,000 users, the other video conference, they, they do sell it for 6,400 plus dollars a month. He said, O-Connect worth 5,000. And it will, it will be not more than 10%. When you do that calculation, that math, tell me who, which company will not buy or connect. That is AI embedded from scratch. The cost, the value. Look, guys, we are, we are in heaven. But all what I want to say is this. Take the 10 days. Each 10 days, Mr. Ash Mufara gives us, go and understand your OES. Go to your marketplace. Know that from your marketplace, you buy and put to your online shop. No, go to go to where to for to the wallet. If they put money in my wallet, how am I going to transfer it to my bank account? Go and play with it. Play with it. We have products there that you can also play with it. And the fun also is that. We have MSI, multiple source of income. Each product is a source of income. You make commission out of each product that comes in. These are the things we are supposed to know. Stop asking money. Money is a done deal. The day, Mr. Ash Mufar, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe in two weeks, maybe in one week, we don't know, but we know we are there. Take these 10 days to understand, learn more about your business. The manuals are there. The manuals are there. Go there, look at the manuals, study it. Just have a brief, brief knowledge about your business. Just the, the scope of your business, know it. It's going to help you. Then asking all those questions, if you, if you know your business and you understand on passive, that when they start pushing traffic, as a subscription-based business, everything, all the customers will fall under Mike, Maddie, Collins, Chris, and myself, and you. That is the magic. Never heard of that is the magic that we are there, you sit, the branding will be done for you, marketing, sales, pain of employees, pain of the bills. All what Mr. Ash Mufara needs from us is to, for you to understand your business. He told us one time that get the best of the best of the gadget, your laptop or your iPad or your phone, and be ready. Those are the things you have to start to calculate. If I don't have a good cell phone, I don't have a good laptop or, or whatever gadget that you want to use, my first sales or my first month income, I'll go and upgrade. Those are the things you have to be thinking and look into. Because if it's the money, it's a done deal. I will go back again. What makes me, my mind, I will not be longer, I will no longer be a nine to five guy is because I'm in a business 
that is a subscription business, subscription based business, I will end commission and this MSI, multiple source of income. Each application that comes in, I make a commission. I make a commission. When you look at O Connect alone, O Connect alone is a done deal. When you look at the other video conference application, um, the other video conference uh, company, they make about, they have 300 million users a day. If Unpassive for the first year can get just 100 million, where will you and I be? Because all those customers will be placed under each and every one of us. That is the magic. Guys, think. Think. Don't complain. On Pacific is a business that is supposed to be have minimum eight to ten years. But in less than ten years, with all the moving parts, we are now set to go. We are now set to go. So, guys, take time. Take advantage of the ten days and go and understand your business. On Pacific brings back value, value, value. The world is going digital. There is no company that will not buy on passive product. The products are more, there are more than 10, more than 20, more than how many? We don't know. We have, we have physical products also. We have our data center. Then the magic again that we are going to dominate as the CEO keeps keep telling us, we will own the internet space, the four pillars. We have the four pillars. Guys, <laughs> when I laugh, I laugh because I know we are fine. When I keep saying that we are fine, because I've looked into the whole topography of Unpassive, the whole business model, everything, there is no Unpassive founders that will not be fine. Please know your business. That's all I'm begging. And I'll keep begging that you should know your business. Do not complain about the 10 days. I keep, I keep repeating this because people keep asking, asking, and they don't want to be patient. Patient. The faith and the hope that took us to be at this moment where we are today. Hold that faith and that hope. What is faith? Faith is a journey. And that journey, there are ups and downs. And that journey, you must endure. The CEO told us one time, you cannot climb a ladder with your hands in your pocket. That is the faith that has been driving us and that hope. And you cannot have faith when you don't have patience. Please, the patience, the faith, and that hope that has taken us to this moment. Keep, keep it burning and keep knowing your business. Keep it burning and keep knowing your business. The more you know your business, by the time, if Ash comes tomorrow and say, okay, now we are ready, you will just smile because you will know what to do. Whatever package that com comes out, you know that, okay, if I buy this package, I'll be, I'll make this commission. These are the things we are supposed to know, guys. Not complaining. Not complaining. You should be fired up. Oh, Go Africa was, I was so happy. When I heard Dr. Tara, I heard our CEO. Data consumption, 25%. I was like, bam, we are there. The youth in Africa will be fine. Everybody's going to position themselves and they'll be in the very in, in the in the good position that the world as a whole. Then the humanitarian part, the CEO told us that he can give you people the template, can give or give any company the template, but they will not achieve what Unpassive will do today and tomorrow. That is the truth. That is the truth. Because Unpassive is built out of heart. Since he has replicated himself, he's a, good, he's a business guru. He's a smart guy. He's in IT. He went to good schools. You know, MIT. He has been in marketing. He has made money. Money doesn't mean anything to him. But he, he, he said, I always called it Mother Teresa. She was a good woman. She wanted to impact people, but she has limited resources. Ash has replicated himself to all of us, the 1.4 million, all over the world. Fill your tank first, then get ready for the greatest shape of your life. Quote from Mr. Ash Mufara. Thank you very much, Mari. Chris, take it from there. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Listen, <laughs> hold on one second. 
the reason I had to turn my camera off was when Oliver started, my computer was smoking. So he probably ruined my screen and my computer, but it was worth it. Uh, Oliver, fantastic. Collins, really. Uh, we have 720 people watching. Wow. And none of us, and none of us are named Ashley Parr. You know what I'm talking about? All right, then. Anyway, let's turn it over to Chris. Uh-oh, they're dropping. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> well, listen, ahead, I don't know if Red's coming on in a couple minutes, Red. I'll try to be quick. I just want to shoot out some prayers in a couple minutes of a passive. Uh, Caesar Jacan's father is in ICU. He needs some prayers. They can't stop his bleeding. Uh, Tim Johnson's got surgery tomorrow. Jennifer Dickinson's got surgery today. Uh, Robin Noble uh, and Tim Dillon definitely need a lot of prayers. Uh, let's keep those going. I want to thank everyone who reached out to Tim Dillon and called him yesterday. He does appreciate it. And uh, Caroline Mackey, I know what you're doing and I know what you did. I want to say a big thank you for that. Okay, let's talk business here. Number one, it's an honor for me to sit on this panel with these four guys who I find uh, tremendously exciting uh, and educational. Uh, I, I'm one of them. That's right, Marty DeGarmo. I'm one of these guys. You know why? Because I'm realizing after Mike said that 120-year joke, which I thought was pretty funny, Mike, we I'm going to kind of reverse it a little bit. We work 97% of our lives, and we get to enjoy 3% of it. I'm going to change those words around a little bit. Um, Ash Mafara has changed that. And it's probably a that 97 work in your life and 3% of enjoyment. Figure it out. It's the truth. We are uh, mules to a job. We're mules to bills. We're mules to a paycheck. And this is the first company that, that is taking the yoke out of my mouth, off my back, where I could go live my life, climb mountains. Listen, someone put in here, I think it was Narelle, we were at 67 years old is when you get to retire in Australia. I think that was her. Who the hell wants to enjoy life at 67 years old? Even though you can, no offense, Mike, even though you still can, but man, I, I want to change it so people can enjoy their lives in their 20, 21, where they can still climb up mountains and wake up and not feel the, the bones breaking in the morning like some of us old guys here. This is what a passive is about. I'm not going to talk technology. Some guy just put on a Gabriel, just put on something that gave me a heart attack. That gave me a heart attack. That was one of the best comments I've seen, and I'm blown away by it. And I'm part of that. I'm part of something that's so big that it, it just smothers the world and says, hey, wake up. This is the new thing. It's not going anywhere. No one's going to touch it. No one's going to top it. Join now because 10 years from now, a passive is going to be the top. It's going to be flying. We were lucky enough to say, I, I Jeff, I want to check this out. That's all we did. I want to check this out. We jumped into something that's amazing. Uh, and Delisa Christie, I want to say special prayers for your daughter, Melissa. She's having a baby, having contractions. She also has leukemia, and it's a high-risk pregnancy. We're praying for you. This is what it's about, people. A passive loves people. A passive cares about people. Ash Bafara has taken the steps for the longest time, we say, to make sure it's done right, and I'm I'm happy for it. Listen, I worked in a company that just kept it going, rush, 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 do it. And what do you have? Recalls, recalls, engine lights coming on, tires that are bad, parts that were no good. Ash wants to eliminate that. Ash doesn't want an, an engine light coming on, period. He doesn't want those engine lights coming on. When he hits that lovely button that we keep talking about, that lever, talking like red now, lever, lever, what do you think he's going to feel like? Can you imagine the joy that Ash Mafar's putting up when he said, all right, guys, everything that's been coming your way that you've been going through, click. I got to believe that Ash Mafar's gave a smile from ear to ear, and he's like, we did it. He already did it. We know that. He's just ironing out the engine lights that keep popping on once in a while. All right. I hated working until I was 53. And that's pretty good, actually. But people that are working, they're 65 plus and they're still working. Maybe they enjoy it. I don't think I would have enjoyed it. 
Things hurt now. We want to change that. Anyone that's out there that's we don't have a lot of young kids in this uh, in this family. We got middle aged people that are joining, but they're trying to change your kids' lives and their grandkids. And that's what we're, we're, we're all about. So guess what? Your kids and your grandkids, even though they don't really know nothing about a passive, which is most of our families, you're going to change their lives for the better. You are going to leave a legacy. Uh, and I will always thank Ash Mafara and Peter Shore for getting me into this. And these four guys on here who keep me high and mighty all the time about what's really going on with them passive. This is the company that's going down in history. Ash Mafara will never go down as the richest man. He won't allow it. But he will go down as the biggest humanitarian that ever lived. And I can't wait to see that honor happen. I know it's going to happen. And me and Mike, us average guys, look at you got a you got a, a master carpenter, two master IT guys. You got a, a master auto worker and Marty Darmo, a master, master, uh, hold on. Taylor. They know. <laughs> yeah, he's a master fisherman. Uh, and that's what's cool about it. But, God, get excited, stay excited. I'm excited every day I wake up knowing that a passive is coming my way. Stop worrying about bills and things that you have no control over. There is something that's coming to help you in all those situations. It will happen. It's coming soon. And don't you ever forget about it. Guys, once again, thank you, Red. I'm sorry if I'm going into your time. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. Wow, yeah, we got to wrap it up. Red is coming on. I didn't know he was. I just looked. He is coming on. Thank you, everybody. We got to do this again. It was a lot of fun. Obviously, a lot of people liked it. <clears throat> so we'll be back next Saturday, maybe, all of us. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you, Collins, Mike, Chris. And uh, we'll see you all. It was very good.